This video is going to be about forces and free body diagrams. I'm going to start by defining what a force is. A force is a push or pull on an object, and because every push and pull has a magnitude and a direction, forces are vectors and can be represented using vector notation. Forces are measured using the unit newtons, or capital N for short. So if you push on this box, that has a magnitude and a direction. There's no way that your push cannot have a certain size and a certain direction. And we could measure the push with a number followed by a capital N. So I could say you push the box with 100 newtons of force, and that makes sense. That's how we communicate the size of a push in physics. I can represent a smaller push with a smaller vector and say that this is 50 newtons. Because a force is a vector, we can add multiple vectors together in the same way we add regular vectors. So if you're pushing on this box with 100 newtons and I'm pushing back with 80 newtons, altogether, the sum of all forces acting on an object is called the net force on the object. This is maybe one of the most important ideas in all of physics, the idea of a net overall force that is applying on the object, so you're going to have to pay close attention. A net force is just the sum of all the vectors of forces acting on the object. So here, the net force would be 100 minus 80, because 80 is working against that 100, which you can see would be 20 newtons to the right. So if you're pushing with 100 newtons to the right, I'm pushing with 80 back to the left. The total overall force on this box is just 20 newtons to the right, which kind of makes sense given our experience. So the net force here would be 20 newtons to the right. To show all the forces acting on an object, physicists create a free body diagram, which is a box or dot with vectors coming out of it showing the magnitude and direction of all the forces acting on an object. So we don't really want to have to make drawings of all the objects that we have forces on. So instead we represent those complex objects as just simple squares or dots. So this is an example of a free body diagram, just a simple square with forces coming out showing the size and direction and names of all the forces on an object. And as you can see, we can also represent it using a dot. Another advantage of free body diagrams is that they allow us to see the vectors very clearly and so allow us to add all the forces together to find the net force. So as an example, these added together would result in this net force. And so the way that you find that net force is going to be by taking all the x components and all the y components of all the forces on your free body diagram and adding them together like we did in that previous example. So you just keep combining them until you have a single x, a single y, and then use the Pythagorean theorem to figure out the overall net force on the object. So this is all that you have to know for this video. Because force is a vector, we can add multiple forces together in the same way we have vectors. The sum of all forces acting on an object is called the net force on the object. And to show all the forces acting on an object, physicists create a free body diagram, a box or dot with vectors coming out of it showing the magnitude and direction of all the forces acting on an object. So those are some definitions that you need to know for now. We're going to start practicing with those in this course.